Hello, I'm Chuck Phillip of South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I'm in a laundry room looking at a sub panel and this house was built in the early 90s. And so this thing has some safety issues going on with it. Uh, you would kind of sort of think that by the 90s they were following more code than they, well they certainly are now, but you know I would have thought back in the 90s they would have followed code as well. And some things were not code back in that time, but uh, still in all, there's some safety issues going on with this sub panel, and so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, what you're looking at, these white wires right there, those are the neutrals, and they've actually got multiple neutrals uh, sharing the same lug, and those should be separate. Each one of those should have an independent lug, and so let's just keep moving on along. Also, too, this is a, a, a General Electric uh, service panel. And it also has mismatched breakers in it. This is a square D breaker. Uh, most manufacturers of these panel boxes uh, require that only their brand be used in these. Uh, another issue, this is a 20 amp breaker. You can, this probably explains this here, but it's got 14 gauge wire coming into it. And so that's a safety hazard. Uh, this needs to be either a 15 amp breaker or this wire needs to be 12 too. And so let's just keep moving right on along. Um, these are the service wires coming in from the main panel outside the house and it's number four and I haven't looked this up yet but I'm pretty sure that's going to be undersized for this panel for amount of uh, amps that are running through it and so another thing too is we're looking at a lot of splatter uh, inside this panel box which that in itself is a pretty big safety issue because uh, if this was sprayed in there before these breakers were put in uh, that can create a bad connection uh, there at the bus bar and uh, it's actually kind of a fire hazard and the funny thing is about that this is well okay well we'll pull them out and clean it up well uh, according to code you're not supposed to do that either because that that becomes a defect now because you cleaned it so you know th there's a possibility of uh, the, the way this has to be mitigated is for the entire panel to be replaced and so that's the reason why you have a home inspection is just for this reason right here uh, because there's just many things there again as I said in my previous episodes uh, that has to be looked at as well but you also have to have the tools uh, to do this too so you know these wire gauges and all that uh, there's I probably have about twenty thousand dollars in inspection gear and I use most of it so anyway I hope this has been somewhat informative uh, by the way this this bar right here at the bottom is actually the bridging bar uh, that bridges the neutrals and the grounds together which thankfully that's not in place because they should be separated the sub uh, but anyway thanks for taking the time to watch this and then take care